so first of all i am going to tell you that what is the standard form of the system of linear equations in two variables it is like this a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 is equals to 0 a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 is equals to 0 this is the system of linear equations in two variables standard form now big question comes that without actually performing the graph or calculation with finding few ratios how we will discuss the nature of solution of the system of simultaneous linear equation i am taking one example you please if it is 2x plus y is equals to 3 the second one is suppose x minus 2y is equals to minus 1. Here if I compare it with the standard form this, I want to tell you if you can take this also standard form like this a1x plus b1y is equals to c1, a2x plus b2y is equal to c2. This is also the standard form, it depends. Now this is the equation number 1, this is the equation number 2. We want to check what type of solutions these lines has. To find it, we are going to write a1 by a2. a1 by a2 is 2 by 1, first ratio. If you compare first equation, coefficient of x is a1, that is 2. Second equation, coefficient of x a2 so a1 by a2 is coming out to be 2 by 1 ratio of b1 by b2 by comparing with the standard form here 1 here minus 2 so b1 by b2 is coming out to be minus 1 by 2 and c1 by c2 it is coming out to be 3 by minus 1 that is minus 3 by 1 so we First of all, when we are not plotting the graph, we are actually not solving what is the method of testing to checking that unique solution, infinite solution or no solution. Condition number 1, if a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2, if a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2, this is known as the condition of unique solution or it is known as the intersecting lines, intersecting lines or it can be called as the unique solution that is the consistent. We call it consistent with the unique solution. The second situation for you students is if a1 upon a2 is coming out to be equal to b1 upon b2 not equal to c1 upon c2. This is known as the condition of parallel lines. We say it as no solution. We say parallel lines, parallel lines or we say inconsistent. The third situation, the third case, third case is if a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 is equals to c1 upon c2. If it is coming, we call it coincident lines, coincident lines or we call it infinitely many solutions or we say it is also consistent. So ultimately what is going to be happen here in this special case, it is not possible that all three cases or all two cases uh, can be possible in one set of solution. One set of solution must exist only one of the condition. Here in this example which I am taking, here what you are finding, a1 by a2 is 2 by 1, b1 by b2 is minus 1 by 2, c1 by c2 is minus 3 by 1. What is coming out to be? It is satisfying the condition number 1. Here for this part, if we observe this condition is being satisfied. Next we will discuss what are the methods to find the values of x.